Okay, somebody asked me today, can I still have my green tea because, because I should put this up for a little bit, because it helps lower my glucose. I get these questions all the time, but they're completely out of context. Like the woman could have had green tea three times and her blood sugar dropped, it's a, it's a trend. But if you're always drinking drink green tea, or even if you do it slightly, it's like green tea lowered my blood sugar by how many points? How long have you tried this experiment? Because keto is a lot of experimenting. You know, somebody had said, oh, I did all these things, Stephanie, I followed your plan and I have problems. I'm like, mm, you didn't follow my plan because my plan was to get some sleep. How's your sleep? She's like, oh, it's horrible. I'm like, well, duh, no wonder your blood sugar is over 100. You're not sleeping. Uh, but the green tea, oh, guys, you got to get off the, the caffeine. It's stimulating the adrenals. And, what it, and I asked her, I said, could be hypoglycemia, yeah? You notice a drop in your blood sugar? Maybe it's too low. What are your ketones? There's a lot of varying and moving parts in this whole thing. Don't go by like one tagline, you know, my blood sugar is amazing after green tea and then believe yourself. It's a lot of experimenting, guys. But get off the stimulants, start from the beginning and build up. Because I didn't know what her metabolic derangement was prior. People will try to convince you that what they're doing is the right way. Always, 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 guys, don't believe the first thing because you want to adapt does not mean that you're kind of like staying away from the problems that you might be experiencing. Look at everything and then try to understand.